Yesterday, I received a question. Someone wanted to know how much is the flight ticket from Africa to the United States of America. And it went further. How can you get affordable or cheaper tickets from Africa to America? So I answered to that person, but I want to go in detail not only to the United States, but also to other areas. And what are the tricks you need to use in order to get cheaper, cheaper tickets? So, number one, I'm going through the criteria or factors which are going to determine the price of the tickets. And number two, I'll give you the tricks I've used myself and helping me to get tickets in a very, very low prices. So if we go to the factors, number one starts with where are you flying from? Yes, you are flying from Africa. Are you flying from West Africa, East Africa, Central Africa? Because that will determine the distance between one place to the other. Number two, you are traveling to America, but which airport, which state are you going to? Are you going in the East Coast? Are you going to the Midwest, Central of America, or are you going to the West Coast? So assume someone is in Kenya, flying from Nairobi, or someone is in Tanzania, flying from Dar es Salaam International Airport, Julius Kambalaga General Airport, going to United States. But someone is going to New York, Another one is going to Chicago. Another one is going to LA, Los Angeles. These are three different destinations. In order a flight from East Africa to go to America, if you're going to California, remember California is in the western part of the United States, but the flight has to come first of all through the air to the United States in New York, going to Chicago in the center of the United States, going to the other end. The flight from New York to the distance from New York to California to Los Angeles or to San Francisco, you are talking about five to six hours flying. So obviously the flight, if you are flying from Dar es Salaam or Nairobi to New York, will be cheaper than going to Chicago or going to California because going to California is completely very far in West Coast. So that is number one thing to consider. Where are you going in United States? Another factor to consider is from the day you purchase the ticket, how many days, how long to the day you are flying. If you are purchasing the ticket today and you are traveling from the same week, obviously the flight of the ticket will be high. But if you are purchasing the ticket today, you are traveling a month later, two months later, five months later, obviously the flight ticket will be cheaper. And I can guarantee you, because I've used this trick, over and over. One time I purchased the ticket in the month of October, first week of October, flying seven months later, traveling in May. Guess what? The flight of the ticket was, the ticket, the price was just $600.20, $620. And that was not just a random I mean, plane, it was just I was using, it was the same price for Delta, which is KLM, it was the same flight for Swiss Air, which is a partner with United Airlines. Obviously, I chose United Airlines partner with the Swiss because that flight had more, uh, lo uh, the flight through Amsterdam had a long layover in Amsterdam. And because I was purchasing the ticket for the entire family, so I didn't do that. Another time I purchased the ticket almost like, uh, it was like four months before. I mean, four months before my flight. So I purchased today, five months, four months later. The ticket I bought, it was just 850 And that was through Qatar Airways. So, when you have a longer time, you have more options of choosing. And it will be very, very, very helpful. Another thing is to consider is which airline are you using? For instance, in most cases, Western Airline is a little bit more expensive if you are flying with, uh, with KLM, British Airways, uh, you are flying with through Swiss Airlines, 
those are a little bit more expensive compared to if you are using uh, Turkish, you are using uh, Qatar, you are using Emirates, you are using African airline like Ethiopian Airlines. So those would be a little bit cheaper compared to the Western airline. So that you have to consider which flight you want to use. Apart from that, there is another factor you need to consider when you are purchasing these uh, flights. Sometimes the day of the week has impact on that. In most cases, the flights change the uh, prices on Tuesday. That's why they usually tell people better to find tickets from Tuesday because the new uh, prices will be coming up. So you can do this way. You can look on this week. If the price is not okay, you wait until Tuesday when the price is going to change. That is another way you are going to use uh, to get the affordable flights. Another technique which I'm, uh, the technique I'm using, usual, I, when I'm going to purchase the ticket, I look on the affordable flights and then I determine to travel. But if you say I want to travel during the summertime, summertime is a little bit more expensive than traveling during the winter time. So most of the time, if you fly during the winter, it's affordable. For instance, I fly in the month of January to go to Tanzania or to go to Kenya. Going to February, March, up to April is a little bit cheaper than if I travel in May, June, July, August. That is a little bit high season, is a little bit expensive. So you have to figure out what season you want to travel. So you can figure out. Sometimes, if you don't, have, you don't travel with the family, that's good because you don't need to wait for the children to get out of the school during the holiday to travel. You can travel at any time you want and that will be the other easy way to do. Another way to do, some people trick they use, they go and change the VPN. Some people, I've, I've never used this one, they say if you use the VPN, for instance you are in America, the flight will be having a little bit more expensive. But you can change the VPN, you put maybe you are in Zambia. Maybe you are purchasing the ticket from Tanzania, from Zimbabwe, or from uh, Accra, Ghana. So you can change the VPN and trick the system to think that you are coming, applying from the low income country. It can help to get uh, a little bit cheaper deals. I've never used that one, but that is one of the suggested uh, techniques to use. Another way you can use, there are different websites uh, you can use it to check the, compare the flight, uh, uh, the price of the flights. For instance, if you use Kayak or Google Flights, you can go there and you can get different options of different airlines. They can give, give you, instead of going directly to KLOM to their website, instead of going to Delta website, instead of going to uh, United Airlines, or instead of going to Qatar Airlines, going to their website, just go first of all, uh, compare flights from different companies like uh, Kayak and, uh, and Google Flights. You can be able to see through those kind of uh, search engine. You can be able to find a lot of options. But one of the ways I've, uh, I've recently started using, uh, there is one company. I'm not, it doesn't sponsor me. I'm just using it. Uh, they change the name nowadays. It used to be they called uh, Scott's Cheaper Flights, something like that. I'll put the link. I'm not sponsored with them. Uh, what you do is, that one is a subscription uh, uh, website. Uh, you can pay about $50 per year or 100 dollars 100 you get more options. But that one, they have specific flights and it's very, very affordable. So they go there, they tell you if you fly maybe uh, even within the U.S., from U.S., uh, let's say, uh, from Missouri to go to L.A., usually the ticket maybe is $400. They can tell going to return is $100. Uh, I've seen a lot of good deals from U.S. to uh, Europe or Euro U.S. to uh, Africa just for 600 700 The challenge is they might give the deck to travel. Maybe you are not interested to travel. Maybe the flight of 600 is between maybe September 1st and October 1st. So sometimes you have to be looking for those deals in order to make it your schedule plan. So especially for people who are self-employed or they have their own business, they have luxury to travel any time of the year. Instead of apply, uh, planning to travel on summer or whatever, you can find what are affordable tickets in this year and you buy the ticket to determine where you are going 
and where you'll be able how how long you are good you're going to spend the time especially the content creators you can decide okay i want to go to zanzibar in tanzania i want to go to nigeria so you can get okay what are the affordable tickets you can purchase the ticket if it's cheaper for 500 from us to uh, nigeria is the month of january then you'll travel in january if going to sweden they have $400 in the month of April, that means in April we'll be going to Sweden. So you can be able to find the subscription websites, which is they have specific deals, then you can be able to plan around that particular time. So those are the tricks you can be able to use and be able to get the most cheap ticket and the most affordable tickets to go to America or even go to any other part of the world.